Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the webinar today. Um, we'll wait just another minute, and then we'll get started. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. All right, well, we'll go ahead and get started this morning. Uh, my name is Angel Gonzalez. Um, some of you might know if you've come to our webinars before. Um, I am the Education Manager here for Shortcuts USA, and I'll be taking you through the webinar today. Okay, so just a little bit of housekeeping to start with here. Um, this is a really short webinar today because we're just talking about a couple of uh, small topics. Um, about 20 minutes plus 10 minutes for Q&A if anyone wants to stick around and ask questions. Uh, my microphone is on. Everyone else is automatically muted as you join. Um, your speakers must be turned on to hear this webinar. So hopefully you guys have realized if you can't hear me yet that the webinar started and you're going to turn those on now. Um, I'm happy to take questions during the webinar as well as at the end of the webinar during the Q&A session. You guys, use that chat box that you have to send me any questions um, that you want to ask during the webinar. And of course, you guys, if you have further questions um, or would like more information, you can always go to our Facebook page as well, which is facebook.com slash shortcuts USA. All right, so our learning outcomes today, as I said, it's gonna be pretty short and it's just a couple of topics that we're talking about. Um, so how you can collect client information using a mobile device, a tablet, uh, a phone, whatever kind of mobile device you guys would like to use. And also how to book, manage, and reschedule appointments um, from your mobile device using Anywhere. So some of you might have it set up to where your staff can see their schedule, but now we've added an extra um, role or feature uh, called appointment operator that actually allows people to book appointments through the Anywhere tool as well. All right, so um, the CIC or the client information card. So here are some steps on how you would go about going into the console, setting up that user, and how to access the user. Okay, so I would log into the shortcuts console. So hopefully um, all of you that have smart know how to log in to your system uh, and take a look at your dashboard. For any of you that don't have smart, um, I'll give you some contact information at the end today where you can contact us uh, about that. Okay, so then we would set up a user going into the company settings or the site settings page. Okay, uh, we would add user uh, to the CIC access that is in the site settings page. We'll take a look at that as well. Um, and then I can access the CIC by selecting the client information tile on the home dashboard. At that point, I can search, select, and add new clients from my um, tablet or my mobile device. I can also hand it to a client to edit their details themselves as well. Okay, any questions about that? All right. So I wanted to put some details together for you. So here is how you would log into the console. So you can see the, the dashboard there, the little tile for the client information card. Okay, when you click on that client information card, the security pin uh, required will pop up. And you guys, this is why it's so important to make sure that you go in and actually enable users to have access to the, the CIC or the client information card. Okay, once you get in, you'll see a list of all the clients that are booked for the day. Okay, you can also search for clients and add new clients through here as well. Okay, and as I said, you can hand it to the client or you can edit it yourself. So when you hand it to the client, the client can fill out their own details. 
Okay. And then once they do that, once they save, because it's in hand to client mode, it's going to go directly back to the pin screen. Okay, when you're in edit client mode and it's an employee using the tablet, um, they can actually go through multiple employees or excuse me, multiple clients and edit client cards without having to re-put in the PIN number. Okay. Any questions about that, you guys? Some of you might already be using this. Okay. I'm going to take you into the console now and just show you how to go about setting up a user and adding that CIC access. All right. Okay, so I can go into company settings or site settings. I'm going to go into my site settings. And then over on the right hand side, I have this manage users option. Okay, so over here I have add a new user. Okay, and then I can choose whether or not it's a user that is a point of sale employee or someone that is not a point of sale employee. Generally, you would want to create a user that is a point of sale employee. You choose the site and then you choose the employee that you'd like to link it to. Okay, once you've done that, you can then see it brings you into the section where um, I would put in the details. So you guys, for the CIC, one of the great things that you can do is you can set up a generic or a, um, if you have like a reception at yoursalon.com or um, just a generic email address that you can use, you can set up that user, create the password, and then once I give all of my staff access, they can all access the CIC using this one login uh, or one information card, okay? So once I add the user, I'm gonna go back home now, okay? And then I'm gonna go back into site settings. And then you can see over here on the right-hand side, you can see manage client card access. So like I said, you can create one user, okay? And then you can come into this screen here and you can just check off anybody that should have access to the client information card. So you can still um, limit who has access, but the people that do have access, they can all use the same login. Okay, any questions about that, you guys? All right. Okay, so the next subject is Anywhere. Okay, so like I said, a lot of you have probably um, been using Anywhere already if you're utilizing the smart products, um, but we've actually added a new role called Appointment Operator, and that new role allows anybody that you turn that on for to actually book appointments, reschedule appointments, and cancel appointments through Anywhere as well. Okay, so here's some steps again on how to how to access anywhere. So again, we would log into the shortcuts console. Um, you would set up a new user for any or all staff that you want to have access to this. And again, um, just giving them access to the employee role will give them access to see their schedule, but giving them access to the appointment operator role gives them access to actually book into um, the schedule. Okay, so once I've set up the user, I would then select the Anywhere tile from the home screen. I would choose which employee I'd like to view, and then I can go ahead and create appointments or move appointments like I, uh, like as I need to. Okay, so how to add an employee to Anywhere. So again, I can just go into the site settings and it's actually gonna walk us through those same steps I was just talking about a moment ago. So site settings, once I get into the site settings, I can go into my manage users section. Once I get into my manage users section, I can choose the add a new user. 
Okay, and then down here at the bottom, this is where it's showing us um, to select the site and then to select the employee. Okay. Also, you guys, for those of you, like I said, that are already using Anywhere, what you can do is you can go into your Manage Users section, search for the list of employees that you currently have set up as a user, and you can edit existing users and then go in and actually add in the appointment operator checkbox and then save that file, giving current Anywhere users an added option for appointment operator or to book or cancel appointments. Okay, so again here, it's just giving us some more details on how to add in the employee. So once I actually choose who they are within the system, I can then add in their email address. I can add in um, any of the roles. So you can see I have site manager, CIC access, employee, um, and then uh, what we're not seeing here is the appointment operator. So it's just another little checkbox there that you would check. Okay, and then also you guys, again, just a little bit of a reminder here. I can hit edit if I need to add more access or take access away, or I can also reset my user's passwords through um, the manage user section as well. All right, so to book an appointment or to manage appointments through anywhere, I go to the home page and click on the anywhere tile. All of my staff members will show up across the top. I would then click on the staff member I like, and I can then see their book to book into it. Okay, so once you select the time, this little box here is gonna pop up and it's gonna ask us to select the service category and the service we like and then the employee we'd like if it's different from the person that we selected on the book. Okay, and then once I have all the details, I just click book and I can book that appointment. And I'll walk you guys through this in just a moment. Okay, so you can see here a screenshot as well of as I tap on the appointment, it will actually then pull up a menu for me to move, reschedule, or cancel the current appointment that's there. All right, so I'm going to go into the console again here. Okay, and I'm going to go home. All right, and I'm going to go into that Anywhere tile now. And I actually need to book an appointment. So I've clicked on Vicki here, and if I scroll down, I can see her appointments. Now I'm out into the future, so if I go back... So here's her appointments, and if I click on them, you'll notice I get that move, reschedule, or cancel. All right, so I'm going to go book an appointment for this Wednesday, June 3rd. Okay, and I'm going to search for myself. And there I am, and I can select that client. Okay, once I've selected, you can see I have the date and the time. Then I need to select what I need to have done. Just a haircut. So you can see it brings up those details for me, and then I can search for open availabilities. So you can see here it's showing me that the time that I wanted is available, the Wednesday, uh, June 3rd at 4 p.m. And then when I click book, it's gonna schedule that appointment for me. And there it is. Okay, and as I mentioned before, if I click on that, you can see I have move, reschedule, or cancel. So I can actually cancel that appointment as well. Once I click on cancel, it just says confirm to confirm canceling this booking. And then it's gone. Okay, looks like I might have a question here, so I'm just gonna pause and take a look. So 
So there's a question, is it possible to see the schedule for a given day across all scheduled technicians? Um, unfortunately, Don, right now there isn't. You do have to go into the individual employee to be able to see um, their schedule. Um, that is certainly something that we can put um, a feature request through for. All right, any other questions about booking that appointment or um, rescheduling an appointment through anywhere? All right, you guys, so as I said, today's webinar is pretty short and sweet. So we talked about how to create a user and how to access the client um, information card and anywhere. Um, we talked about how to search and add um, clients. And we also talked about how to um, book, uh, reschedule, view, and manage appointments through the Anywhere tool. So like I said, for all of you that are utilizing the smart system currently, um, some of these are just added features that we've added on to the console. So you should be able to go in and set these up. And for any of you that aren't currently using the smart system and are interested in doing so, you can always contact us at uh, this number here or um, on our Facebook page and somebody can reach out to you. Um, and you guys, I'm just going to open it up to question and answer here. So if you guys have any questions about what we talked about today, um, of course, you guys, something else that's on that those shortcuts mobility features is also the salon app that we talked about last time. Um, and so you guys, any inquiries, you can um, contact our business development team here. Looks like I might have a question. Oh, maybe not. Anybody else with key, with questions? You guys can continue to ask questions and what I'm going to go through and just uh, talk about our next webinar as well. So this one's on managing memberships with Shortcuts. Um, so Shortcuts does have a membership tool where you can, you know, sell a client a monthly, yearly membership. And then based upon that, they can then re uh, receive rewards within the salon or the store. That's going to be on Monday, June 22nd at 9 a.m. Pacific time. Um, you guys, to register for our webinars, you can simply go to shortcuts.net slash webinars, and all of the new webinars will be there. And then, of course, you guys, you can also always go to our webinar library and view this webinar as well as past webinars as well. Okay. Um, Lydia, I'm not sure if you're still on, but um, unfortunately, I cannot start the webinar over at this point. But as I just mentioned, it will be recorded and it should be up on the website within the next few days to view. Um, and then hopefully you'll be able to take a look at it there. Any other questions, you guys? Okay. Also, I just want to mention right now that there we do have a special going on. So the special webinar offer is the 20% uh, off loyalty setup and training. So if you guys are interested in using um, the new smart product within um, or the new loyalty product within the smart uh, uh, system, we're having a special on that as well right now. So again, it's 20% off loyalty setup and training. And if you have any questions about that, again, here's the number that you can contact our business development team or you can always post stuff to our Facebook page. Okay, and then you guys, just some contact information for our education team. So if you have questions, if you've gone in and you've tried to set up, um, you know, your 
new anywhere users if you tried to set up your online uh, CIC and you can't figure out how to do it you can always just email us and let us know um, if you have set it up and you're having any issues of course always just give our help desk a call okay and again the Facebook page and for more information on the loyalty that I mentioned or anything else you can go to our website and then the contact information for the office All right, you guys, well, it looks like everybody got their questions answered. Anything further, uh, go ahead and give us a call or post it to our Facebook page. You guys, thank you so much for joining us again today. For those of you that are uh, familiar names and, and um, well, not faces, but familiar names. And I hope you enjoyed the webinar. Thank you, guys. Have a great rest of your day.